Previously on Low Lives. People don't consider how their actions affect other people because it's easier to not care. Right there! Everything that's wonderful is what I feel when we're together. Thank you all for being here tonight. It's Jams is a government-funded, youth-run recording studio right here in the heart of downtown Salt Lake City. We'll grab up as much expensive gear as we can, slip out of the back where Lily will be waiting with the getaway car. And then, you know, we'll get rich and famous. Yes, I love it. You're a handsome genius. Child-run studio? Maybe a lock could go wrong? Nobody's hard faces. We're in the clear. Okay, we might have to lay low for a little bit. You know where else could be fun? Canada. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? I thought you were gonna shave off your mustache. I feel like I've spent a lot of time cultivating this look. You think with the right help, we could not only get the charges dropped, but we could get a pretty big paycheck for all of us. I'm ethically obligated to turn you guys into the authorities. Do you maybe have like a ballpark of how much longer we're gonna be laying low? It's just been kind of a while now and I wanna let my family know if I'm gonna be gone much longer. All right, listen, Trevor. I love you as much or realistically more than your family does and I don't wanna blame all of this on you, but I will say if not for your actions, we'd be sitting on a pile of money and music gear right now. Okay, yeah, you're maybe right. I guess I was also just getting a little concerned that we've kidnapped a lot of people at this point, and I, I don't really know what the plan is. We're just gonna hang on to them till Stockholm Syndrome sets in. All right, I'm gonna ask you guys both one question, and if you answer correctly, you're free to go. Do you love me? Yes. He hesitated. It's still too soon. Let's get that out of here! Go, 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 go! No money, but I did get the photo of snacks, baby! I don't know if that was a family owned convenience store or what, but the kid at the front was so young. I didn't know you could be so young and work somewhere. But he'll be alright, right, Lily? Right, like. You'll be okay. Trevor, I don't freaking know. What do I look like? A doctor? Can I get one of those snacks? Do you have anything keto friendly? Alright, so if we want to get into Canada, we're gonna need some passports. This is an old college friend of mine. He does fake passports on the side now. Total low life. Anyway, don't be offended if he kind of ignores you guys. He's always been, like, kind of obsessed with me. But you trust him, right? Like, we're not gonna be in danger? Hey, hey, what's hey, up, what's man? Up? Come here. No, uh, come here. All right. Hey, hey man. How good are to see you, you. buddy. It's good um, to see you. This is a Lily hey. and a Trevor. Lily and Trevor, this is Andrew. Hey, do that mustache. I love the way it looks on your face. I should do that. I should do that. And that shirt. Man, I have one just like that, actually. Hey, come on in. I'll be right back. Are you sure we're safe here? Listen, Trevor, I know you get worried sometimes, but it's important to remember that you need to stop being a little bitch. I'm not your mom, Trevor. I'm not your mommy. Just because I'm a just because I'm the only girl here, just because I have boobs, doesn't mean I'm your mom. Doesn't uh, Tre Trevor, you know, honestly, you're coming off a little sexist to me right now. I'm so sorry. I'm not your mom, Trevor. Stop coming to me every single time you want to feel safe, okay? Stop whining to me about your problems. Oh, okay. Stop being a little bitch, I'm Trevor. Sorry. I'm sorry. All right, guys, sorry for that wait. All right, so uh, we're gonna be paying with that if that's cool. Uh, oh, property of Kids Jam Studios? You guys stole this from kids? <sighs> That's so cool, Trevor. It was actually my idea to do that, Andrew. Yeah. Whatever, man. Anyway, what can I do for you, Trevor? Um, yeah, we're just looking to get some passports. Um, but if if we could make it quick, we're kind of in a hurry. We're on the run. So. <sighs> oh, 
on the run, man. So cool. Here, I can help you out with that. Stand in front of that backdrop. Yes. Perfect. I like that a lot. Good. How about turn to, to the side a little bit? It's that left side, yes. Beautiful. Show me some of your neck, that neck you got. Do we need any more? I mean, it's just a passport photo. Right? We can do this all night. I don't mind doing this all night. Oh boy, man, I could go banging around with this. Bang, bang, bang. That seems really dangerous. Can we Can I keep this? this? Uh, no. My grandpa gave that to me right before he died. I don't think so. No, yeah, no, it's okay. We, we understand. Oh, hey. If you want it, Trevor, it's yours, man. Seriously. I'm seriously. Hey, on Trevor's passport photo, could you maybe Photoshop out this mustache? I mean, I could, but I don't want to. It seems like it's taken so long to cultivate this kind of look he's Can got. Can I talk to you in private for a minute, Andrew? <laughs> okay, listen, Andrew. Trevor's not as cool as you think he is. He's out of his mind. He wants to make me show him my penis so we could laugh at it. He said, hey baby dick, show me that little baby dick. It was your idea to rob these kids because you got a tiny little wiener. I said, Trevor, it's medium. And he said, shut up nerd. And I started slapping me in the face with a pornographic magazine and I said, Trevor, I don't want to see that. I'm just a good Christian boy. And he said, oh yeah, you're religious? Me too. First church of you've got a little baby dick. Wow, dude. Everything you just said actually sounds really cool. It makes you sound like a little bitch. All right, so I'm gonna put your name in as Daryl Johnson. You know, Daryl Johnson, I don't know how I feel about that name. I think I would feel comfortable with something that was more similar to my real name, just like Chase Ford. Guys, do you think we could go? I think that we should probably get back on the road soon. You don't need to rush off, Trevor. You're totally safe here, man. <laughs> This has literally never happened before. Alright, I'm gonna ask you both one question and if you answer correctly, you're free to go. Did you guys call the cops on us? How could you even ask us that? We would never betray you guys. You've taken such good care of us. Yeah, it's like we're a family. Yeah, you, Lily, Carlos and I, we're a family. Alright. Get out of here! But Chase, I don't understand! Carlos, shut your damn mouth! We don't want you here anymore. We don't like you. You are ugly to us. Now get! Get out! You too, Victoria! I'm done with you! Get out! Get out! Just get out! Alright, I think we better split up. Trevor, see if you can go find us a car and meet back up here with us as soon as possible. Alright, hands in. Woo! This way, pull it! I know the situation is less than ideal. I think from time to time people have kind of got to take stock and be really honest with themselves about, you know, the way they're living and what they need to change. And I hope someday soon Trevor can do that. I'm not somebody to be overly sentimental and maybe it's because I'm about to share a cell with a guy named White Power Paul or anti-Semitic Sam or something, but, you know, I, I just want to let you know that, you know, I, I really like you. Listen, I knew your plan probably wasn't going to work, but I just wanted to have fun together and do crime. And when I see two people walking down the street together in love, I just want to punch them right in the mouth. But something about your mouth, I don't want to punch it. Guys, I... I didn't get a car, okay? The cops got me. They were waiting right around the corner for me. I, 
There was nothing I could do. I'm, I'm sorry. The only reason I'm here is because I said I'd wear a wire. But, but I'm not going to do it. You guys, are, you guys are my friends, and that means something to me. And if I have to spend the rest of my life in jail, then I'll do it. Because I, I believe in our friendship, and I know you guys are harsh on me sometimes and can hurt my feelings, but I know you do the same for me. Trevor, it's okay. We'll take care of everything. Lily and I will turn ourselves in. Can you wait a second? Sorry, can you hold on? So is there just like something we can sign that says Trevor did all the crimes or do we have to go into each crime individually? You know, I was thinking it, it's not often in life you get second chances and, you know, I, I, I don't believe in like signs or anything like that, but like maybe this just would be a good opportunity for us to kind of, you know, evaluate the way we're living and, I don't know, maybe turn over a new leaf. Those are nice. Should we maybe help this guy out? Should we maybe do some crime? I know what you did to my sweet Trevor, you heartless monster! Wow, it really seems like that should have killed us. I guess sometimes good things do happen to good people. They just killed a guy and now the music's playing and they're driving off like it's a happy ending or something. Say it loud. I've already lost some love to that lonesome town. Oh, if she comes to me so soft within my.